Hey everyone, Techni here with my second quick video today. If you haven't watched my first one about the Scuff Instinct controller, go check it out. That controller is stinking awesome. Go check that one out. But today, right now, obviously, we're going to be talking about Steel Series in a recent juicy news from them. But first, a word from our sponsor. And our sponsor of today is this guy right here. Old Techni himself in that join button on the channel right down there. Go on and press that join button. We have memberships for $1.99 and then $4.99 right there just to show your support. Again, anything that I get from that goes right back into the channel. I truly appreciate you guys' support. And you also get this cool gear right next to your name down in any of the comments right down there. But again, guys, thank you so much for the support. That's all for a word from our sponsor. How about this juicy news? Steel Series. Okay, if any of you follow on socials, myself or Steel Series, if you don't follow me, it's at the Techni One. Make sure to follow on Twitter. Anyways, what did Steel Series post? Two great companies come together. We are happy to announce we've joined forces with GN. Who the heck is GN? We're gonna talk about that, right? When I first saw it, I'm like, GM? Like Steel Series and GM? Like Steel Series in cars? RGB in your cars? Yeah, well, they already have that, but that would have been cool. Whatever. A global leader in innovation and intelligent hearing. Remember that right there, intelligent hearing. Audio and video communication solutions. SteelSeries will continue to operate as an independent brand, but now with more resources to do what we do best, make products used by esports pros and inspire gamers to reach new levels of glory. You can go in there and read more. They got links to it. Same with GN. I'll leave all the links right down below, and I'll pin some up on the screen here as well. But there's, if you want to dive deeper, you can, right? Uh, as far as the core, that's it right there. What I want to do is answer number one question, what I did. Right when I heard about this, straight away, who is GN, okay? Who is GN? GN Store Nord whatever, right? <laughs> so GN, I researched and I dove into their company. I just wanted to see what other companies do they operate? How do they know about gaming? What are they going to deliver here? What do they have to offer us gamers? A lot of this is like a lot of business stuff, but us as gamers, we can care less about that stuff, right? What is going to be different for SteelSeries? So who is GN? I started combing through a lot of their companies and what they do. It's a lot of like scientific uh, hearing enhancements, hearing aids, clarity, stuff like that. A lot of health driven stuff, uh, health as far as, you know, making you hear better, how to hear more details, again, clarity. They got hearing aid companies and, and stuff kind of like in that class right there. A lot of research development and again, how, how to make hearing better and audio better for stuff like that. Nothing really around gaming. There was one company that, um, I knew of. I'm not sure if you do. Let me pull it up to make sure I say it right. I think it's Jabra. If I'm thinking right, let me just pull it up. Yeah, Jabra. And you can, right when you go to Jabra's website, Jabra GN. I don't know why they got to put their GN at the end of it, you know? I, I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Jabra. I know I have. They got them at Best Buy, Amazon. They're very popular earbuds. I've used some of them before and they're pretty stinking good. They, they are good. They're pricier. They're definitely towards, like I'm just looking at right here, they're Elite 85, they're 230, next step 280, or, or 170, then 150. So they're like mid-tier earbuds. I've used some before, and they're pretty darn good. They are good. So okay, whatever. So GN, they have nothing to do with gaming. They even state right here that they wanted to find a way to get into gaming. Okay? So I'm sure you're with me right now. I want to backtrack to the tweet. Steel Series will continue to operate as an independent brand. So I want you to think about that, and I want you to think about what I just told you GN is, as far as a company, right? So what do I think here? As a gamer, the business stuff, sure, it's juicy for a second, right? It's like, oh, cool, wow, what is it? Then it's like, whatever, what are you going to give me? What, what, are we gonna, what are we going to have as gamers, right? What are we going to have as gamers? What are you going to offer the gaming community? And by the sounds of it, nothing. And I think that's wrong, right? Because when I first read and I first looked over it, I'm like, uh, HyperX went with HP or HP bought HyperX because you kind of see that, right? HP has Omen. They do gaming PCs, yada, yada, yada. You know what I mean? So you kind of understand that HyperX has been kind of quiet since that. But you kind of you kind of see that, you know what I mean? So with SteelSeries and this here, 
when I combine GN in this acquisition of SteelSeries, when I combine it all with GN having nothing to do with gaming, all I hear is audio. All I hear is audio. But from GN, they really focused on audio big time. Like you go in there, again, looking at their companies, it's hearing aid companies, yada, yada, yada. SteelSeries headsets, I stink in love. Some may disagree with me. Sound is personal preference. Each brand has a different signature sound. And SteelSeries, I think, sounds amazing, phenomenal. I'm excited for that. Very excited for that. We know Steel Series has been pretty quiet in their headset game, not really released. Heck, just in general, Steel Series hasn't really been doing much, right? They, yeah, PBT keycaps, they made their Apex 7 white. Um, the most recent, like, big change has probably been the Prime Mice, which I like. Perfect, no, but I do like them. I like the Prime Mice. Again, their headsets have been phenomenal, but they haven't really done much. My opinion is, yo, they got something good right here. They know it, so they're leaving it there. They're kind of, ah, do we venture out and try this? Because I, my opinion is this is SteelSeries bread and butter. This and the Apex Pro, but more importantly, their headsets. You know what I mean? But SteelSeries isn't a big brand. They're just, I mean, yeah, they're big, but they're not like big, big. They're not Logitech. They're not Razer. Talking about releases, Logitech and Razer, constant release stuff. Logitech, they got the business side and then the G side, the gaming side. Razer, they release something new every month. You know, Razer's like the apple of gaming. I was talking to a buddy on Twitter, and that's what he said. Yeah, you know, Razer has this like, they're like the apple of gaming. They always got something fresh and new coming out, you know what I mean? And I think SteelSeries could be that, but they haven't been. And you guys have stated it too. We've talked about it before. SteelSeries, like, what are they doing? You guys got this big fan base, like, crank this stuff out, man. You know what we want, 60% Apex or 65%, whatever, Apex Pro. I know a lot of you like the 60%, so whatever, you know, lighter weight mice. I love their headsets, but I want to see something fresh. And I think GN's going to offer that as far as the headsets. With all their research and development and all their, you know, science behind hearing or audio, I think they're going to bring the gaming headset space and Steel Series headsets to a new level. I truly believe that. Okay? Next year, we're going to backtrack to this video, but I really think GN and Steel Series is going to change the gaming headset space. Maybe I want to believe that, right? Is that better? Cuz again, research in GN and what they already have if they do that and really build off it rather than just bank off it, that's the difference, right? Can we bank off this or build off this? I hope they build off it because I believe that'll result in banking off it. Now, the other question that you might be asking, the same as I asked as well, is, well, what does this company do about SteelSeries mice and keyboards, right? What are they going to, how are they going to do anything about that? And that's when we go back to the tweet Will Steel Series still, 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 still operate as an independent brand? Because GN's not just going to hand them money. Yo, you need a mill? Here you go. Develop something cool. That's not going to work that way. Like, Steel Series will probably still be Steel Series. Are they going to call it Steel Series GN? Yo, that would be so weird. Please don't do that, guys. Please don't do that. Uh, but anyways, it's not going to be like that. Like, the honcho of GN is going to come down and say, yo, we want to do this with headsets. You guys make something happen with this. That's probably how it's going to work, you know? Are they going to push this stuff aside and just focus on audio or just pinch a little bit here and there? Like sprinkle, hey, here's a new mice, guys. Here's a new keyboard. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I don't know. I think they got a lot of potential here, but I'm not sure if what GN's going to offer there. That, that'll be just excited to see. And that I think we're just going to have to wait and see. But I really think the headset game is going to change with this here. And I, and I hope we start seeing it next year. We'll probably see a big impact the following year. We'll see. We'll see. But again, I think this news is exciting. Is it as juicy as HP getting HyperX? I don't think so. You know? I don't think so because GN's not really heard of. None of us probably even knew of GN before. At least I didn't. You know? So it's going to be a lot of wait and see. Me being a big Steel Series fan, I know a lot of you guys are as well. I'm just excited to see what's going to happen. What's going to be new and different from SteelSeries? 
Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about this? Do you think it's like, okay, finally, maybe someone will get SteelSeries up and pushing and cranking stuff out? Or are you kind of worried like, ah, man, is this going to be the end of SteelSeries and their mice and keyboards? Or do you think this is, you know, not going to do anything? I don't know. It's just a conversation piece. I want to hear what you guys think as well. Um, if you've heard of this news, if not, now you have. What are your thoughts? Again, just spark it down below. I, I want to have this chat with you guys right here. It's it's exciting time, I think. I really, really is, especially as a headset fan, you know. So anyways, thank you so much for stopping by, swinging by, watching this one. Uh, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to support, smash that join button as well right there, you know. So uh, again, thank you guys so much for swinging by and watching this quick chat right here. Hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.